Welcome to the video on building a mobile site with Evoke content. In this video we're going to show just how easy it is to build and manage a mobile site. In order to do this I must first log in as the host user. The host user is the most elevated user in Evoke content. You'll also hear people refer to the host user as super user. The reason we must first log in as the host user is because in Evoke content we can host as many websites as we'd like from one instance of Evoke content and the host user is the only user who can create a new site. And to log in I'll just click log in and we'll log in as the host user. Now in this video we want to build a new mobile website so to do that I'm going to hover over the host menu and I'm going to access the site management. On the site management screen, this lists all the sites that we currently have in our instance of Evoke content. And to add a new site, I'm simply going to click Add New Site. Now we get a pop up window here, and I'm going to type in a, a new URL here. I'm going to give the site a title. And I could give it a description and keywords. I'm just going to leave that for now. And then I'm going to select the mobile website template. I'm also going to leave the use current user as administrator box checked and I'm going to click create site. Now in the background DNN is making a lot of updates and configurations in the database to get ready for our new mobile site. Now I've received a message here telling me that there was a problem with my SMTP server. Simply I do not have a SMTP server configured here locally. Uh, and that's not really a big issue. So you may see this message from time to time, but if you do just click uh, this click here to access the new site and we'll be taken to the new site. Now anytime you stand up a new website within Evoke content, you'll get the welcome screen here that we're seeing. And so this has a couple different videos that'll help us get started as well as we could access some advanced configurations here. I'm just gonna close this window for now. So you can see that we are in our brand new mobile site that we've just created. And if we click around, you'll notice uh, that the site is definitely formatted for mobile devices. And if I resize the browser, you'll notice that this site implements responsive design. So the content is adjusting to the form factor from which it's being viewed. So we do not restrict you in any way with your mobile strategy. You could definitely go responsive if you would like. The next feature I want to talk about is the mobile previewer. So we can look at each specific page and see how it's going to render on various mobile devices. And to do that, we simply hover over the edit page and then click mobile preview. And when we click mobile preview, we get an, uh, a pop-up window here. And this is the preview of how this specific page would look in various mobile devices. Now, you may wonder, where is this mobile device information coming from? Well, we're maintaining information on every mobile device for you, and it's getting updated on a weekly basis, and you don't have to do anything in order to bring this information in. It's automatic. So you can see that we have a drop-down list, and we're targeting these specific mobile devices here in this demo environment. You could target any specific device that you wanted. And so I've got this iPhone 4 currently selected. And we can see how this page, this About Us page, is going to render on an iPhone 4. So it saves us a lot of time. We don't have to yell at our neighbors and say, hey, show me how this page looks on your Samsung Galaxy. We can also uh, toggle to the landscape view or the horizontal view. So it saves us a lot of time as far as editing our content. And this is one way that we can leverage this mobile device data that we're maintaining inside of the application for you is through the mobile previewer. I'm going to close this. And what I want to do is toggle back to the desktop site. So as the host user, we have access to the tools menu. And through the tools menu, we can easily click to any of the sites within our instance. So I've toggled back to the desktop site and the next feature I want to show you is the site redirection management. So I'm hovering over the admin menu and I'm clicking advanced and then site redirection management. And now we're on the site redirection management page which is a page where the admin or host user can create site redirection rules. So we just previously created a brand new mobile site but we don't really know how our users, our mobile users specifically, are going to be arriving to the mobile site. So we can create these redirection rules to redirect or route our mobile users to our mobile site. 
So I'm going to opt for the create a redirection using advanced options and click create. And we get a pop-up window here. So I want to create a site redirection rule to target iPhones. So I'm just going to name this iPhones. I definitely want it enabled. And we could redirect to a specific page within the site, but in this case I'm just going to redirect to the whole site. And I definitely want to redirect to the mobile site. Now we can use this, uh, I mentioned we had the mobile device data in the system here. So we can use this data to our advantage. So we can leverage this to target these specific devices or even characteristics of these devices. So I'm going to select the advanced menu option here and once I select advanced you see we have some new uh, options down below. So the capability, when I expand this capability menu you see that we have a lot of different options here. So these are options that we can use or leverage to target the mobile characteristics uh, or characteristics of these mobile devices. First one I'm going to select is is mobile. Once you select the capability then the matching value field updates and I want to select true. So I'm going to add this parameter by clicking this little green button here. And the next parameter I want to target is the platform name. Now if we're going to target an iPhone, we definitely want to select iOS as the platform. And I add that parameter as well. So now I know if it's a mobile device and it's running iOS, then it's definitely an iPhone. And once we create the rule, you can see that our iPhone rule has been added here. And that's all you have to do to create a redirection rule. And now any users that come to our site on iPhones will be redirected to our mobile site. So I hope this video demonstrating how to create a new mobile site has been helpful for you. Be sure to check out our other videos discussing more features of Evoke content. And thanks again for watching.